Another scandal for Hunter Biden, this time through his connection to the Burisma-linked lobbying firm Blue Star Strategies. A former Ukrainian prosecutor told Obama-era State Department officials that Blue Star offered him access to officials high up in Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign. Now, this is just weeks before the election. Mm -mm -mm. Here to react, Fox News <laughs> contributor and former House Oversight Committee chairman Jason Chaffins. Okay, for what we know, Jason, he was addicted to drugs at the time, which is tragic. A lot of Americans go through that. So how was he still um, having all these business dealings um, and what did he offer these companies? Well, this is the suspicion, right? This is the concern, is that 2014, Hunter Biden joins the Burisma board. Shortly thereafter, Blue Star Strategies becomes involved. The vice president, Hunter Biden's dad, becomes in charge of Ukrainian process, goes over to Ukraine and famously goes out and brags about how he's going to withhold nearly a billion dollars in U.S. taxpayer dollars if they don't switch out who their prosecutor is. Meanwhile, now new emails are showing that this Blue Blue Star Strategies is out there bragging that they can provide access to the highest levels of Hillary Clinton's campaign, including the potential new chief of staff. The ambassador, uh, Yovanovitch, is actually saying uh, in testimony before Congress, hey, um, I don't even know that Hunter Biden was involved. Meanwhile, George Kent, who works for the State Department, was warning the Biden wa uh, White House and, and uh, the vice president's office and others within the State Department that, hey, this Hunter Biden thing looks really suspicious. Yovanovitch has a meeting with Blue Star Strategies in December of 2016. But supposedly nothing was awry. Are you kidding me? This is why the U.S. attorney is involved and why there is more smoke than ever that Hunter Biden did something nefarious and that his dad, the current president of the United States, has a lot of explaining to do. Yeah. Um, Jason, let's talk about the May jobs number. Missed the mark by about 100,000 jobs. And Jason Furman, who's a former Obama chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors, he said COVID-19 was still relatively permanent in May as much of the Population remained unvaccinated, and many states were just beginning to adjust their public health guidance. These factors interact with unemployment insurance, which can allow workers to take longer to rethink their careers, try to find jobs in new industries, and negotiate for higher wages, but can also slow unemployment growth and prolong long-term unemployment. That last part is the key. What's your reaction? Yeah, I think uh, government is competing with the private sector. I don't care where you go in this country. You're having problems finding businesses that can actually employ people. And one missing part of this story that I want people to understand, go back 10 years under the Obama White House, the federal budget was about $3.7 trillion. It now is proposed by Joe Biden to be $6 trillion, a 50% increase in our federal budget in over 10 years. The debt has swelled from roughly $16 trillion to nearly $30 trillion, nearly doubling. There is a huge, massive effect. Is your government that much more effective and efficient with a 50% increase? No, it's more bureaucrats, more government, more regulators. And the consequence, our economy is suffering and we're not growing like we should be. Jason, I want to see what you think about a story that caught my attention. There's a lot of speculation, of course, about President Trump and his intentions in 2024. But on Wayne Allen Root's radio program, 2022 was brought up. What they talked about was whether or not President Trump should run for Congress from Florida, become a United States congressman in 2022, then become Speaker of the House, where Root said, then you could lead any investigations into Biden or anything else before 2024 even comes up. Trump said, huh, that's interesting. <laughs> wow. What's your reaction? Yeah, I tweeted about this a few months ago. Under the Constitution, you don't need to be That's a right. member of Congress to be elected the Speaker of the House. So put Donald Trump in as Speaker of the House. He could go out, investigate everybody, and he could impeach everybody. That would be, that would be pretty fascinating. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know that that's what he'll choose to do, but he seemed interested for a moment there on that radio show. We'll see. Oh, it would make for great TV, I tell you that. Donald Trump <laughs> launching an impeachment probe on Joe Biden. I mean, the headlines write themselves. Speaker of the House, Congressman, <laughs> any of those combinations thereof before you even get to 2024. All right. All right. Thanks, Jason. Jason, thank you so much.